Hey everybody, welcome to our daily bread reading, April 27th. Now today is Saturday and this is Pull the Weeds of Worry. So they hear the word, but the worries of this life choke the word, Matthew 13, 22. So today's uh, scripture and reading will be this. After burying a few seeds in a planter in my backyard, I waited to see the results, reading that the seeds would sprout within 10 to 14 days. So I checked often as I watered the soil. Soon I saw a few green leaves pushing their way out of the soil, but my bubble burst when my husband told me those were weeds. He encouraged me to pull them quickly so that they wouldn't choke the plants I was trying to grow. You see, Jesus also told us of the importance of dealing with intruders that can impede our spiritual growth. He explained a portion of his parable this way, When a sower casts his seeds, some fell among thorns and choked the plants. Thorns or weeds, we will do just that to plants, stop their growth. And worry will surely stunt our spiritual growth. So reading scripture and praying are great ways to grow our faith. But I've found I need to watch out for the thorns of worry. They'll choke out the good word that has been planted in me, making me focus on what could go wrong. The fruit of the Spirit found in scripture includes such things as love, joy, peace, in Galatians 5.22. But in order for us to bear that fruit in God's strength, we need to pull any weeds of doubt or worry or fear, I'll add, that may distract us and cause us to focus on anything other than Him. So reflect and pray on this, you guys. How is God helping you grow your seeds? He's planted within you. And how can you pull the weeds of worry? I got a few ideas myself. But dear Heavenly Father, please remind me to pull weeds often, discarding worry and deceitful thoughts and fears so that I may grow and bear fruit in you. So today our insight will be this. Matthew 13 contains eight parables. The parables of the sower, the seeds, the mustard seed, the yeast, the hidden treasure, the pearls, the net, and the house owner. They're known as kingdom parables because they usually begin with the characteristic phrase, the kingdom of heaven is like. So though the first parable is called the parable of the sower, its focus isn't necessarily on the sower, but on the soil upon which the seed falls. To unlock more wisdom from the parables of Jesus, go and, and read in uh, Matthew 13 uh, and all these verses that are noted there. So up here it does say Matthew 13, 3 through 8 and 18 through 23. God bless you all. Have a great, nice, safe and sober Saturday. We'll catch you on the next one.